videos. And today I'm whipping up a super easy poke at home. That's right, poke at home. You don't have to go and spend $15 on a bowl anymore. I'll show you how to make it. Uh, luckily we have Chef Christian who caught us a fresh sheep's head. First time ever trying this poke, so we're pretty excited. But during quarantine, this has honestly been one of our favorite dishes. It's actually really simple if you just ceviche the fish and then put it together with all your favorite toppings. We raided the uh, Asian sauce section to get all the sauces that we needed, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah, let's dig in. Alright y'all, Chef Christian caught some sheep's head today, and we're going to make some homemade sheep's head poke. We haven't had sheep's head yet, but I feel like it's like a special at restaurants all the time, so I'm really excited to try it. And Chef Christian worked really hard with his crabs to catch it, so let's break it down. Yeah. Alright, the fish is all filleted and we're going to cut it up and then throw in some lime juice for a nice ceviche effect that we use for poke. Christian is the master of the precise knife cuts, unlike me. That fish is looking awesome. We're going to throw it into the lime juice. Chef Christian, walk us through your ceviche process. It's really complicated. <laughs> so, the only very hard part is cutting up the fish. After that, you literally just green. That's perfect. <laughs> After that, you literally just squeeze lime juice in. You kind of <laughs> just want it to be partially covering all the fish because it's gonna. You want all the fish to have at least some lime juice on it. So it's gonna kind of soak into it a little bit. And uh, you'll know the fish is done, so each chain when it's all kind of opaque. That's right. So whitish. So basically the lime juice cooks the fish, and I don't know, you could probably eat this straight up raw, but we're not taking any chances. <laughs> yeah. So we always just cook it in the lime juice, plus it adds an extra flavor, so why not? So it looks like today I'll be doing, I think just three. Three limes. And uh, then I just kind of smush it down so it's all evenly soak it in there. See how that's kind of all touch, every little piece is touching the lime juice enough. That's why we like using a flat bowl instead of like a rounded bowl because then it would all pull up in the bottom. This way it's all spread evenly. And uh, then we'll put it in the fridge. It only takes about 30 minutes but we usually go with about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. After 30 minutes it's done. But you'll see that when we come back it's going to be a different color. So take a mental picture of what it looks like now. See a difference after. <laughs> Alright y'all, overall the most complicated part of this recipe is getting the fish together and then you just add on your favorite poke toppings. We love mango, edamame, and crunchy onions. But other than that, it's really all about the sauce lineup. But to get everything ready, I'm going to chop up this mango. This is actually frozen mango that I just thawed. Um, you can also get a fresh mango, but I didn't feel like going to the grocery store. So <laughs> Got that, and we're just going to chop that up into bite-sized pieces. Throw it into a bowl. And then we have some edamame that was just frozen, so I just heated it up in the microwave. And then we're going to put all our sauces together. Hey y'all, this is what you're looking for with your ceviche. The fish is nice and opaque slightly cooked from that lime. Mm, it's going to be so good. We're going to drain the lime juice so that it's not too crazy acidic. If we forget to do that, it's a little too acidic. So you're going to drain it and Chef Chris is going to dress it up with our sauces of choice. Our fish is strained. We're going to add in our sauces. So we have pontu, which is really awesome. It's a very citrusy uh, soy sauce situation. That'll add some bright acidity to it while adding a little bit of saltiness, which we love. We, put, we actually put a decent amount in there. That good, Chef Christian? Yeah. Okay. He usually dresses uh -huh. it up, so. And also we found this poke sauce. Uh, I mean, it's poke sauce, so obviously we had to use it. It's got a nice kick to it. A mm -hmm. um, little bit of sesame oil flavor in there. It's really, really good. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. That's good. And you can always it's add strong. more. You can always add more, you can't take it away. True that. A little extra saltiness, just a touch of soy sauce. A tiny bit just a touch of sweet chili sauce for sweetness because we have the acidity, the poke sauce is a little bit spicy, soy sauce is salty, adding a tiny bit of sweetness. 
And I like putting this right on the edamame. There's something about that combination that I like. So yeah, probably like a fourth teaspoon of that too. Let me mix it up. It is smelling really good. Let me taste it, see where we're at. Mm. I think it's good like that. Mm. Very good. All right, might be in business. The texture of the sheep's head is really nice. Mm. Oh, that's good. I'm excited. All right, let's get it. I love wasabi, so I put a little bit. This was I found this at Publix. You probably find it pretty much anywhere. Right alongside, next to all these sauces, you put a little bit in there. Mix it in because I don't want to get like a glob of wasabi. And I like when the rice is nice and warm still. Mm, you can really smell it. Did you mention this is sushi rice here? Oh yeah, this is sushi rice. <laughs> <laughs> um, and sushi rice you have to soak beforehand, so just keep that in mind. This one you have to soak for 15 minutes when you're cooking it. Um, so I start soaking the rice the same time that we start soaking the ceviche. So pretty easy timeline. And I know this is basic, but I don't like it. <laughs> Everything but the bagel on there. Because <laughs> there's fried onions in there, which we also put on top, and sesame seeds, and it's a little salty, so okay, don't don't at me. But it works nice. Presentation. Can, uh, look at that. Alright. Now you can make your bowl look nice and pretty. I like to put it in little sections. Fish over here. Aesthetic. And you end up mixing everything together, but it's nice to get it aesthetic. Alright, mango. Plenty of protein in there. Um, I don't really put any seasoning on it straight out of the microwave, so very healthy. And I don't know why I like to put the sweet chili sauce on it. Ingredient next: fried onions. Fried onions. And you just kind of mess it up with them. Mm -hmm. Slow motion. <laughs> I'll put a little more. Early, but they will make it nice. Ta-da! All right, y'all, this is my perfect poke bowl. Homemade, all the sauces. Let me get a bite of it. All right, y'all, I'm gonna get dab in for a bite. I'm gonna get a little bit of fried onion, edamame, and mango on there. Mmm. Spicy, a little bit sweet, and you get the freshness of the fish. This is so good. Definitely try making poke at home. If you like this video, hit the like button obviously. And subscribe to Cooking with Booze. Booze out, baby.